Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, this is coming out on the 25th of December. For me, that is Christmas Day. Merry Christmas. If you celebrate as well, have yourself a great day. Uh, or if you're watching this perhaps the day after, hope you didn't drink too much yesterday. Uh, but we do have a bit of a giveaway as, as part of the Christmas uh, spirit here. I also want to go over some of the cool stuff which I think has happened in 2023, both from HH Gamer's point of view, from my point of view, and from Raid's point of view. And uh, yeah, and then basically kind of like roll with it from there. So let's start with the giveaway. This is courtesy of Raid. So thank you to Raid for this. Basically, I'm allowed to choose five winners from this video and give them a legendary steel tome, a five-star chicken, an XP boost, some energy, and some multi-battles. All you need to do is comment down below on this video. You have to be a subscriber to the channel. And you come in, grab your Plarium UM number, copy ID here, and paste it in your comment down below. And I will draw five winners out and give that to Raid to send you a pack. Be aware, there's tons of scammers out this time of year. I will never ask you to DM me. I will never ask you to do some sort of Telegram thing. I've never used Telegram in my life. If you win, I will pull the winners. I'll post the winners in my Discord. And the pack will appear in your mailbox. Okay, and, and you'll see it pop up on screen when you get it. So don't like fall for any of those scammer messages around Christmas. I would hate to think that you got scammed out of money for trying to enter a giveaway. And you don't need to worry about a UM code being around somewhere that's not going to like access your details personally or anything like that. So let's go over some cool stuff then from this year. I guess we're going to start with, uh, maybe we start with HH Gaming. HH Gaming did a really cool challenge at the start of the year. This is probably the highlight of my year, honestly. We did this free-to-play challenge, uh, which involved not just content creators, although it did involve a ton, also involved a load of the community as well. And we did this from like early January 2023. Um, a whole bunch of us as creators and the HH Gaming team got involved, including Lady H. She actually uh, probably got into this. Earbad was in there. YST Deadwood had their own little head to head. This was a real like positive uh, for me, real positive, I think, for the community as well. And we were able to track people's progression through these leaderboards, which are still out there for people to see. I don't think I ended up topping any, but I, I did okay. I was like you know, in the mix on a lot of this stuff. So this was a lot of fun. We are thinking maybe we should do something like it for 2024. If we do, it might be towards the end of January because we're still trying to push through this kind of like City of Sintranos content. But let me know down below. Do you want us to do it again? If you do, what sort of challenge should we and other competitors have? Would you like to do it as a community again in the same sort of vibe here that everybody can be involved, everybody can be progressing towards you know different goals? Are these goals from last year's challenge still what we want to see? Or is there other stuff that we should be tracking? Uh, I guess just let us know. But for me, this was one of the highlights of the year and a lot of fun. I guess one other highlight from the HH Gaming stuff was that we got the optimizer available for mobile. And we've now got a remote optimizer where if you're playing on a tablet, if you're playing on a mobile, whatever, we can support you with doing gear optimization. So that for me is... We always thought it was impossible to do. We managed to do it. And, you know, just like hats off to the dev team for making that type of stuff happen. So there's some real highlights there. And obviously the HH Gaming team, uh, I just want to say, not that I haven't said it to their faces and whatever, but what a team. We're so fortunate to have some incredible developers and writers and, um, yeah, just generally an, an awesome team on the HH Gaming side. So let's talk about me personally. So my big highlight, I think, for the year is starting Fateless and um, starting our own game studio, which is in full flow. If you've not checked it out, we talked about uh, IP just the other day. Uh, we talked about our first prototype uh, where you can actually get to see how the game is kind of like running so far. We're still early days. We're like four months in and we're starting to now get some characters built and stuff. It's a ton of work, but honestly, uh, it's really rewarding. It's a lot of fun. And we're actually working with some you know, very cool other creators in this space, including Ash, Mtashed, Saf that you will know, Brad or Chosen. Uh, yeah, a whole bunch of people. So it is, for me, this is like 
almost like a dream come true type of moment. Yeah, and very cool. I also started another channel, which is Watcher of Realms, which I'm really enjoying as well. So yeah, had a lot of stuff going on. And I guess in my personal life, uh, I won't say there's been any like massive moments of like, you know, some sort of crazy historic event, but I've had, you know, just a really good year. I've been able to have a good work-life balance. And, you know, me and Lady H, we've now got kids who are a bit older, so we're able to, to go on like little mini weekend breaks away and stuff like that. We went to Vegas uh, for TwitchCon and, you know, that was super fun. If you have not watched, by the way, my Vegas video and you're a bit bored over the holiday period, um, you should watch this video because, firstly, my editor did an awesome job of it. Where, did, where is it? Where is it? I'll, pin, I'll ping it down below. Yeah, this one here. Only 5,000 views, which is low for my channel. This is a funny video. You should absolutely watch it and uh, see what we got up to in Vegas. But this was a really, it was a once in a lifetime trip. Got to meet a load of the creators that I hadn't seen before. Got to meet Darth, got to meet um, Kai Mobile, got to meet Chosen for the first time. A whole bunch of people like Deadwood was there. It was really, really great fun. So a great moment for me this year. And, uh, and Lady H got to come with me. So yeah, it was very cool. Let's talk about Raid then. So what's what's happened in Raid in 2023? Well, Call of the Arbiter came out. Uh, I actually thought this was quite a good series. I think they did a good job of it. I felt like it was a bit rushed. Could have done with a bit more kind of like fleshed out story and detail. I would have loved them to have been 30 minute episodes, but I think good job for first effort from Raid. And yeah, it's crazy. It feels like it's it's ages ago, but actually five months ago, all of the Call of the Arbiter stuff came out. Raid in-game got Live Arena. For me, I don't play it a lot, honestly. I, I just find the times do not work for me, but it's a big change for Raid. I don't know if it's been that well received. Raid got City of Sintranos, which I think is one of their best updates they've ever done. It is up there for me with Doom Tower in terms of quality of update and fun and you know, needing a, a more uh, versatile roster. It's not for everyone because it is... You do need a roster to be able to play it, but I think it's a good like, long-term achievement type of thing in-game. So I think this has been a great, great update. We've seen uh, mythical champions enter the realm. Uh, again, for me, I'm not sure about these still. Like They're still finding their place, honestly, but um, certainly the, the theme of them is pretty cool. And uh, as ever, Raid knocks it out of the park anytime they do anything visually. So you can't, uh, you can't fault them for that stuff. Uh, we've seen... Uh, no Dime December and, you know, a bit of a movement around, come on, Raid, give us some better quality of life. And I think uh, hopefully we're starting to make a, a step forward based on some recent discussions I've had with the, the senior team. So hoping that's going to carry on as well. But yeah, I guess comment down below what's been your highlight and perhaps your low light of, of 2023 for Raid. We've actually seen some insane free champions. Yeah, login reward champions such as uh, Wukong coming in. Brilliant champion for anyone who was around for that. Uh, Artak, what a champion that is as a freebie this year uh, and more. So definitely been seeing some, some kind of like cool stuff like that. And yeah, we've seen new gear sets added onto the mix. It's, it's been a whole bunch of stuff. And obviously for, for next year, we want to start seeing some of the, the time-saving quality of life changes. So look, just to end this video, I just want to call out a couple of creators that I think are, are doing a phenomenal job. Like, you know, there's a whole bunch that you know. You know all of these names. You know, YST, brilliant. Nubraid, brilliant. Ash, etc. Like, all of the guys that you probably already know. But there is definitely, uh, and, and Saf's in that group as well, by the way. Saf, one of the biggest raid creators that never got into the raid creator program. RIP. Um, but yeah, Bronco Games. If you've not heard of Bronco Games or not seen this stuff, he does really, really great free-to-play guides. Yeah, he, he's basically, I think he's a free-to-play player himself. Pretty sure he is. But anyway, a lot of his content is accessible champions. It's about doing things technically, which are hard to do, honestly, but showing you easy ways to do them. He's done a whole bunch of stuff around the new Amius boss that I've been watching recently over the last few days. And, you know, he does a lot around the Sand Devil. Uh, the Phantom Grove, like basically tough bosses where he's been able to kind of like speed tune teams that make it work. He should probably call himself Emic at this point because he does a ton around Emic, the fusion champion, and 
Uh, we all knew that Emic was going to be quite a quirky champion that could do some stuff that was cool. Actually, Bronco does a lot of cool stuff with Emic. So definitely a creator that's worth checking out. And I, I spoke about him before, but Odd One Gaming does a lot of great raid content. He really understands the game. Yeah, he really understands the game to like the next level. In our free to play challenge, he literally like flew off uh, amongst us challengers and stole the leaderboards in a ton of areas. He was extremely strong. Like he plays at a rate that I've not seen anyone else play at. Um, but his content does match as well in terms of, you know, he'll be doing a lot of stuff around the Curse City right now. He does a lot of stuff where it's like using unusual epics, unusual or unused legendaries. And again, just definitely worth checking out his channel. So I will put both of those creators down below. I suggest you go and give them a look. Um, but yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget, if you want to be involved in the giveaway, you need to comment with your UM number. Have yourself a great Christmas and holiday period. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. See you soon.